So let's see what $180 in computer case looks like. We got the Kruger Panzer Max G. This thing is sexy. And let's reveal it. Man, this thing looks great. Yeah, excuse the mess. I've been, once again, working at the room. And then this thing arrived. Man. We definitely got to do a proper introduction on this sucker. This thing is bad looking. I can't believe how wide the front of this thing is. See the front? Now, find... Go to your PC and go to the front of it and put your hand over the front of your case and see if your whole hand takes up the case. Look at my hand. It does, look, see that? I still have a whole nother hand to go. I mean, the front panel of this thing is just extremely wide. And I really like the carbon fiber look. That looks straight. Very nice look. Got glass on it with fitted screws. Let's see here. What's on the back side of this? That's the I.O. box. But look how, like, deep. I know it's, like, super dark, but you get the idea. It's, it's pretty deep inside of there. Like, there's a good, I mean, fingers deepness that goes into the back of the case. Maybe a sneak shot inside. Look how wide that front grill is. That thing's insane. Dude, I cannot wait to water cool in this sucker. This is going to be awesome. Once again, excuse the mess, guys. I know my room's... It's being remodeled, and I'm getting all these products in. Oh, by the way, last night I added up everything I spent. It was like $3,600. It was ridiculous. But man, this case looks great. Let's see the other side of it. So there's like a, a hatch. Oh, that's nice. It just pops up and folds down. Plenty of internal. Look, you can put two hard drives right there. And then you could put like four or five SSDs right there too. That's really cool. And I like how this thing has this latch on it. That's awesome. Y'all ever had a case with the latch on it? All right, shall we remove the side panel? I've already removed the other three to make it easier while I'm on camera. Wow, that one was like stuck in there. All right, how does this thing come off? I guess just like that. Oh man, I like the front end of that. Oh, according to that picture, this coffin case comes out. That's pretty cool. And then, of course, inside, it looks like a standard case. Let me, uh, Turn some light on. There we go. See, it looks just like a standard case inside, which is fine. Um, this thing right here. Hold on, let me get up on it. This thing right here, that is an air guide. What it's supposed to do is, is optimize the air performance. Kind of like what it says on it. But it's supposed to help direct air direct air behind the motherboard. So some of this air comes in, that hits the scoop, and it directs it back behind the motherboard. Uh, now that thing right there is gonna have to go, which it will, as you can see right here. It just takes a couple of screws and it pops right on out because we gotta put a radiator in the front of it and we might even put a radiator in the top of it. I haven't decided yet. We're definitely going with the vertical GPU bracket. I mean, look at that. Even the fan has like a carbon fiber look to it. What a meaty looking fan. 
I've never seen a fan like that. It just has a very unique design look to it. This thing is awesome. So I found my first really cool feature. Check this thing out. That's it. That's all you got to do is just push it and it pops right out. And that's the front. Isn't that cool? Most of the fronts you got to like pull and pop and twist and crack, crack, and then pull it apart. This one is just, it's just loaded like that. And then it just pops out. That is too cool. I like that feature. Check out the front of it. Man, this thing has grill filters everywhere. It has filters all out through it. Through the top, through the back, through the bottom. Here's a nice inside shot. Yeah, it's just a big, typical case. But the outside is where it really matters, man. The look of it. The outside's what really matters. But this is basically how the PC is going to sit. Um, f until I, I don't know I'm thinking about just building it this way leaving it like a flat box like this I think this looks cool looks like it belongs on a spaceship or something so there is a better look at the the scoop so the fan will blow air that way and it will then direct it underneath the motherboard So you got grommets, pass-throughs, fits a whole variety. Now this thing says that you push here. Of course, trying to do it with one hand is always fun. Oh yeah, I feel it moving. Let's see here. How does... Well, uh, I almost got it out. It's going to have to come out for me to put the power supply in and stuff, but it's removable which is a nice feature because if you want to pull it out and carbon fiber wrap it like what we're going to because we already got carbon fiber I mean this thing definitely has like a military look to it I mean I'm really liking it there's the front I cannot wait to start building in this case man y'all gonna like this I'm already just impressed by this case it's a cougar case I've never owned a cougar case before but I guess there's a first time for everything here's the feet dust filter stuff like that removable feet those remove and so do these the handles they remove uh, but this is basically the way that I'm going to run the PC and set it up and go from there this is a really nice case. I mean, it holds, what, a 360 in the front, a 360 in the back. It can hold up the three GPUs. I mean, you know, it's the typical high-end case design. Uh, there's latches, magnetics, there's filters, ease of use, toolless, toolless things, like the drives are toolless, some of the other stuff's toolless. What is that? What is that? Oh, there's a big old piece of foam shoved up in it. Well, I guess I don't have a choice but to pull it off. Hold on, let me uh, see if I can't pull that off. It go in there. Uh, it comes out. I know it does. It's held on by that plastic tab down there, but I really don't want to jerk it out right now. It looks like there's more grommets. That's nice. Grommets for the pass-through for the power supply. That's a nice feature. And then look, they also got pass-throughs right there. That right there. That's so, this hole right here, that's so you can pass through the cable to the back side, which is a nice feature. Very nice feature. Get rid of that. Man, this thing is really nice. Grommets. This thing's held together by uh, screws and some rivets. There are some rivets, but mainly it's held together by screws which is a nice feature and if you uh, let's pick it up god man this thing is solid so check out the back back comes off there's a better shot of it 
Well, you could really put some storage in this thing. I cannot wait to get building on this. We need to start immediately building this thing. Oh yes, immediately need to start building this case. Excellent. So this is the Cougar Panzer Max G. It was 180 bucks, and I went with the Elite Carbon Fiber look. Definitely has a military feel to it. Let's see here on the front. Looks like it has a fan controller. That's cool. You can, can either decrease the speed of the fan or increase the speed. Headphone, microphone, USB. These must be two. You, and these must be 3.0. Power button, reset button, or no, power button, reset button. And this tape was just here to help hold the magnetic strips in so they don't come flying out and stuff. So, alright. This was just kind of, just wanted to show it to you guys. This really wasn't a review or anything. I just wanted to show you guys the case. There's the box, the Panzer Max G. Let's uh, see if I can give you some statistics on it here. Uh, it has four USB 4 points in it. Holds up to a 390 millimeter. That's the left side. This is the right side. Up to eight fans. It can hold up to four radiators. Holy shit, this thing can hold four radiators? Look at that, up to four radiators. Wow, this thing has a lot of expandability. Intelligent cable management, airflow guide for storage, fan speed controller, fan installation. Wow. So you can, that's right, so you can, you can uh, pull out your drives without having to take them apart and get into them and do all that kind of mess. Very nice. Yeah, very easy modability, that's for sure. A lot of the, a lot of the, um, the pictures I saw of this case had water cooled full water custom blocks and loops and stuff in them so you know and I like that look that look around it I like that look that looks really cool to me you know just the whole case looks different we're going to remove the handles though definitely going to remove them because for us we're going to lay the case on its side and it's going to look great like that I just I can't wait to get this thing building man make sure to leave me a like guys I appreciate y'all watching subscribe because all of these parts over here are going to go into this thing and then some oh you guys want to see the add up sheet here let me show that to you real quick okay so what you're looking at is a full parts breakdown of the current build and how much it costs and as you can see right there it cost two thousand four hundred nine dollars for all of the computer components that we bought that will be going into our next build and then here is all of the stuff that we bought for our gaming room because we're doing the gaming room and then there's all the stuff that we bought to go with the playstation 4 that i just bought i bought a playstation 4 and then bought a whole bunch of extra stuff to go with it and that was about twelve hundred dollars between the gaming room and all the playstation 4 accessories but anyway, grand total of spent was $3,680. So I spent $3,600 in three days on all of this stuff. Yay. Just thought I would show you guys this. All right, so the next step, guys, is to build in the case, which will be the next video coming up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all gotta love my low budget filming channel. I spend tons of money on everything else except for the editing software and the cameras themselves. Everything else I go high dollar on, but the real shit I go cheap on. That's funny, right? Alright, I'm out. Y'all enjoy it. Y'all be cool. And the game room center, look, I just put up the new board. That's what's gonna hold. And then I just put up the blinds. That's what's going to hold all of our monitors and stuff, but that's for a different day.